What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Nisty Nate, and I'm back with another video. As you guys know, I've been gone for a minute, but we back, and I'm about to give you guys the best lockdown build on NBA 2K24. But without further ado, make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Let's jump straight into the video. For your position, you're gonna want to be a small forward. It doesn't matter really between shooting guard and small forward. They're both valid. I think they both have the same attributes, all that. Your height, you're gonna want to be six seven. I'm telling you, I'm six seven. I know you see the six eights, they get a bunch of badges, but six seven is valid. Now for your weight, you're gonna want to put 234. And I'm gonna explain all my attributes and all that when we get to that section. And you already know your wingspan is gonna want to be maxed. 7-4 wingspan on a lockdown. If your lockdown doesn't have max wingspan, what are you doing? First things first, you're gonna want to upgrade your perimeter defense to a 98. And the reason why I put this to a 98 is because you get picked out your Hall of Fame. If you put anything lower, you do not get picked out your Hall of Fame. You guys already know. You're gonna you're gonna get clamps on gold, ankle brace song on Hall of Fame, challenger on Hall of Fame, fast feet on gold, and off ball pest on Hall of Fame. Now for your steal, you're gonna want to put to a 91. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I do not use the right stick to get steals. If you watch my clips from last year or anytime I played lockdown, I do not use my analog stick. I only use the square button to get steals. So I I put it to a 91 so you could get glove on gold if you put it to a 96 you get right stick grip on hall of fame if you like the right stick but me personally i like gold also by putting this to a 91 gives you extra attributes to put on anything else now let's go to our interior defense our interior defense is going to be a 70. we'll be getting workouts on hall of fame we will be getting anchor as we we got to upgrade our physicals first but our block is going to be a 79. And the reason why I put the block to a 79 because we're going to get silver chase down artists. You know, silver chase down artists, you need that for a lock. You at least need that on silver. I'm going to be honest with y'all. And your defensive rebound, you're going to want to put to a 60 to get rebound chaser. You're going to want to max out your speed, max out your acceleration. You're going to want to put your strength to a 90. Strength matters once again this year. As you can see, we're getting brick wall on gold and we're getting a movable enforcer on gold a movable enforcer is one of those key badges that we need this year as a lockdown also brick wall is not just for setting screens it is also when you get bumpy with the point guard if you guys notice in all pretty much all my clips from last year everything i do i always get up on the point guard's face and annoy them pretty much annoy them so that, that's what it helps for. So brick wall is going to be on gold. So that helps. You're going to want to put your vertical to an 80. This is going to help you dunk, get rebounds, all that stuff, all that good stuff. And your stamina to a 99. Your passing accuracy, you're going to want to put to a 77. A 77 is going to lock most of the badges on silver. As you see, we get dimer, relay passer, break starter. We don't get bailout because I think bailout is like high, like high 80s or something. Now let's go to our shooting. Our three-pointer is going to be a 79. 79 is valid to shoot. You got to think about it. I'm going to the elite parks. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to the elite parks, which is like a plus one, plus two, whatever. So it's going to be like an 80 when I, when I get that over there. Now let's go to our finishing. Your driving dunk is going to be a 87. You will be getting contact dunks on this build. Your close shot to a 50, your driving layup to a 70, and your standing dunk to a 45, so you get the standing dunk animations. You actually get standing dunk, like actual dunks that you have to buy in the store, and you get it like more often than not. So for our finisher, we're gonna get posterizer silver, slithery on silver, precision dunker on silver, aerial wizard on gold, bunny on gold, whistle on silver, and spin cycle on two step on Hall of Fame. And you guys can see right here, we have extra attribute you can put it on interior defense you can put it on defensive rebound you can put it on vertical me personally i'm putting it on free throw because i'm playing pro and rec but it's it's really your personal opinion on this last attribute because it really doesn't matter 
Cause some people might not even use this build for a park or for pro am. It depends. It depends on what you like. But that's where I messed with my other build. I put my thing to a 60, and I think I put it on offensive rebound. But you can put free throw to a 70. That's valid. So this right here is the final build. The final build. I didn't. Ex I didn't uh, show all my uh, defensive badges, but you get clamps on gold, 94 feet Hall of Fame, ankle braces on Hall of Fame, challenger Hall of Fame. Fast feet on goal, pick dodge on Hall of Fame, workhorse on Hall of Fame, and off ball pest on Hall of Fame. If you guys were wondering, because I did not show it, but I got y'all. Also, let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel about this build, though. How you guys feel? Because I'm thinking this is the best build right now for a lockdown. Because a lot of people don't get Hall of Fame pick dodger. Let's keep it a buck. And people going to be sending them screens. But we're compared to Tony Allen, Jimmy Butler, and Jalen McDaniels. And we're called a two-way inside-out threat. This is a decent build name. Some build names you guys know. If, if a build name is crazy, I might not even play on it. I'm going to be honest with y'all. But the build has a decent name. Let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about this build. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that. This is my build video. It's a pretty short video. Usually my vid videos are like 8 to 10 minutes long, but I'm using a new editing software. And I had to get this video out for y'all. But make sure you guys follow my TikTok, follow my, uh, subscribe to my YouTube. All the links is going to be in the description down below. Make sure you guys smash that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. For more videos, you guys already know the vibes. I'll see you guys later.